on right move like you are all the time. I suddenly saw this one and we drove past it. We had a quick look around the outside. Nobody was living there. And we were like, I think this could be the one. Went to view it, walked in the front door, and then we made a decision within those seven seconds. Yeah, this is the one. We know we're going to buy this house. We moved from probably about a mile and a half up the road in Rommel Village, a 1930s house which we'd raised our babies there and we just ran out of space. I think we looked for about three years. This one came up and it was perfect. It was spacious, it had a big garden, character features that we love, it just felt right for us. One of the main reasons we loved it so much was because it was renovated so well and it didn't need a lot doing to it. It was mainly painting, a little bit of decorating. We could handle that kind of a renovation. We didn't want a whole build, so it just ticked all the boxes for us. When you walk into the house and then going into the hallway, it was all very cream. Just felt the room needed a little bit of depth. So we painted the doors black, painted the banisters black, and the walls pale. And it just sort of modernised the space, it just made it feel a lot grander. A bit of black into an interior scheme just sort of grounds it and makes other things stand out. This was the original dining room, which we didn't need a second dining area. It was very traditional, but very full on. So we took all that red away and introduced a soft blue, which made the stained glass in the windows really stand out. My day job is an interior designer. So I set up my design business about three or four years ago, around the time that we moved into this property. Business has grown and we decided it would be better to have it as a, a home office craft room, client meeting area for me, and that's how it's evolved from when we moved in to where we are now. So this house faces east-west, this space, it's very dark. In the mornings, but come the afternoon, it's just so bright and sunny. So we find that we tend to follow the sunlight through the house. I come in here in an afternoon with a coffee and a magazine quite a lot just to be on my own and to get a bit of space and peace and quiet. When we moved in this was a really beautiful room. Typically Edwardian, lots of beautiful antique pieces of furniture. The beautiful stained glass windows were hidden with very big heavy curtains. We wanted to remove the curtains and put shutters in and just show that window off because it's so beautiful. We painted it a pale grey just so we could see what the room was like. However, it's not really the right colour for the room. It needs warming up a little bit. I think our next job is to bring some warmth into this space and remove the grey. So that's our next task. Unfortunately, this fireplace doesn't actually work as a functioning fireplace and we found that out on our first Christmas when we lit a fire on Christmas Eve and all of the smoke got pulled down into the basement rooms and set the carbon monoxide alarms off and we had to open all the windows and leave the house on Christmas Eve for a few hours. The bit that we're standing in is the original floor plan of the kitchen and the bit behind over here was extended by the previous owners into what would have been an original courtyard. We had quite dark black granite worktops which in an east facing kitchen, the first thing in the morning you were blinded by the sun shining against the black mirror worktops or in the afternoons when the sun goes over the house it felt really dark and oppressive and gloomy. So we changed all the worktops for white, tiled the backsplash, and we painted the island green. 
We did choose a worktop and the one we got was slightly different to the one we chose and that was an error at the stonemasons but we're happy with it and we decided to keep it and run with it. These are the things that happen with renovations and I think you've got to be flexible sometimes and, and work around those problems. It just really works and I think that's the one thing that people notice in a kitchen the worktops are a natural stone rather than a laminate. So if you're going to spend money, I think that is where I would spend. I won't ever call my home a forever home because I think a home works for you for that period of your life when you need it. So for us, at the moment, having this space with a big garden near to the school is what we need at this time in our life. But as soon as children leave home, we will have other needs. So this home is a, a 10 year plan for us really. So we are stood in what is the boys games room. We wanted to make this space workable for two boys who would grow from children into teenagers. So we added this graffiti wall mural. My husband and I travelled to Berlin quite a few years ago and there's a lot of graffiti on lots of concrete walls out there and I kind of wanted to introduce that down here. It felt like the right thing to do to add a modern feel to the basement. My eldest son was a bit horrified that it has Justin Bieber on there with a heart. So we just plan to remove that in time and replace it with something else. <laughs> Take your time, live in the property, get to know it, then do one room at a time so you can really see how your style evolves. Just take your time finding tradespeople. Don't necessarily go for the cheapest. Sometimes you might need to pay a bit more, but you'll only do the job once and that's worth it. I would really speak to an architect about how best you can impact where that light is because light is so important. I think if a room's dark you won't spend very much time in there in the day and um, there are lots of clever ways architects can play around with glass and glazing partitions to add light from some parts of the house to others and increasing ceiling space and we're getting into quite major renovations there depending on your budget but yeah it is important where you live that you have as much natural light as possible. Maximising your light is so good for your health, I think. I think you need to be inspired by the space that you live in. I think you need to come home and feel, oh, this is where I really want to be. This feels like me. It's my personality. It's evolving all the time. <laughs>